What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris on the show today, my friends. We got some wine in the house. No. Y'all didn't watch my channel? No, I'm not a seltzer drinker and I'm not very big on wines, but I will try anything at least one time, my friends. So today we have Duplin brand, Duplin brand cotton candy. Cotton candy, my friends. Cotton candy. I love to eat some cotton candy at the fair. <laughs> Chris, focus. This is a wine review. Okay. <laughs> Cotton candy flavor wine, my friends. This is 11% alcohol by volume in this bottle of wine. It is wine, not liquor, wine. So it's a little soft today. We're going 11% alcohol by like drinking a, a beer or something or a wine cooler. But I haven't ever tried this, but I've seen a lot of people on YouTube saying, oh man, you gotta go try some cotton candy wine. But here we go. I figured I'd try it. If I don't like it, uh, maybe somebody else will drink it. Um, my mother likes some wines um she may try this and she may like it or she may tell me it's garbage this bottle right here costs 9.99 10 dollars which is very cheap for a bottle of wine so i'm not expecting a whole lot out of this um we're gonna give it a try see if it tastes like cotton candy if it don't like them strawberries i'm gonna be very disappointed y'all <laughs> let's pop the cap pour some up in this wine glass see what we got going on here so right off the bat it does not have a cork in it so that's, that's the low level of uh, quality we're dealing with here because most good wines, most, supposed to have, my friends, a cork in it. Should I have a cork in your bottle? Like the captain says, you just need to have a cork in your bottle, mateys. <laughs> I don't know why I keep, if y'all, if this video is messed up, I'm looking this way because I got a monitor on my camera and I still, after almost two years of doing YouTube, still like to look over there. I know I need to fold it back. Focus, I know, Chris. <laughs> My focus is terrible. When you get 51, you focus everywhere. Shut up, I know Chris, do the review. <laughs> He's still talking. All right, here we go. Cotton candy wine, my friends. We're not going to go crazy with it because I don't know how it tastes. And I don't want to waste it up because somebody else may want this to try. Just put that old reedy cap back on there. Let's give it a little smell. They say in the winery, ooh, they swish it around. Smell it, switch right. We're not gonna do all that, my friends. We're not that elegant here on this channel. Not on I Know Chris. We just taste it, taste it, taste it, yucky, yucky. Smells like wine. So, doesn't smell like cotton candy. This is what it tastes like. <laughs> Why do these people be saying the stuff they say on their labels? I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I've had worse. It's not great. <laughs> Robert Crow Jr. is probably like, here he goes. It is good, it's not good. Uh, in the middle, yeah, Robert. Um, this one is not great. It is a $10 bottle of wine. Does it taste like cotton candy? No. <laughs> it does not. It don't taste like cotton candy. It tastes like a... Uh, here in Georgia, we have what are called scuffinons or muscadines. Uh, it's kind of what it tastes like the wines made from possible. Yeah. The most disappointing thing about this bottle is the label. Really cool label on it. It's got a big, big old thing of cotton candy. I love some cotton candy. I do y'all, I love it. It don't taste like cotton candy. I know there's a winery in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I've been tempted to order a bottle of their wine, their cotton candy wine. They say, tastes like cotton candy. People swear by it. But people also say, this tastes like cotton candy. It doesn't. It's not bad. It's a $9 wine, okay? That's what it is. If you want a $9 wine, go pick it up. It's not real dry, like some wines have a dry taste. This is not. Don't leave your mouth real dry. It's sweet. Um... Now you can tell there's sugar in this. Uh, I'm thinking from a more of a sweet grape, like a scuffinon wine, a muscadon, a muscadon, musc I, one of those grapes. <laughs> Dude, I'm not a wine expert, but it's okay. We're going to give it one thumbs up. And the reason I'm going to give it that, because it is drinkable. I'm not going to pour it down the sink. It is drinkable, so it gets one thumbs up. But don't. Go buy this thinking you're going to get this and taste cotton candy. Because I know what cotton candy tastes like. We all know what cotton candy tastes like. This is not cotton candy in the bottle, my friends. Maybe I was expecting too much, but, you know, I'm going by the bottle. I believe if you put it on the label, it should taste like that. But it doesn't. It's okay. One thumbs up. $10 wine. 
if you want to spend your money on it, you want some kind of sweet wine that don't have a, a dry uh, finish, I sound like a professional now. <laughs> this is it for you. Um, it's not bad. And it's actually better than some wine coolers I've had. So I can recommend if you want to drink it, and it's fine, but it's nothing special. And if you show your guests it's cotton candy, they're going to go, oh, cotton candy wine, and they're going to be disappointed too because it's not going to taste like cotton candy. Just sweet grapes and alcohol in it. So that's it. One thumbs up for my new crisp. That's going to wrap this review up, my friends. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below. Helping my channel grow. I appreciate each and every one. You hit that button. You, Hey, you, before you go, I, I, I don't leave yet. Mm -mm, see, y'all be leaving. Hit that subscribe button, please. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down. It's all good. I'm a grown man. I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate each and every one of that. Leave a comment. That helps my channel too because YouTube like, people be talking to him. and He be talking back because I will comment back to you. Trust me. I read every comment uh, whether it's good or bad and I don't get mad. Uh, I appreciate the negative and the positives. Um, there's a thanks button and a join button. You can check those out if you want to support my channel. If you cannot support my channel by membership, join or thanks, it's okay. Don't think, don't think if I come join your channel, you need to join mine back. You'll never make no money doing that. If you join everybody's channel that joins yours, you're just giving your money back away. So, you know, I jump around and support different people. And some people, I hope they don't get mad because they're like, well, he, he didn't rejoin this month or whatever. Support different people in the YouTube community. And, you know, we all have to support each other. This is it's the thing to do. Um, I don't think no one's going to get real rich off this. <laughs> whatever i don't care i enjoy doing it and bringing these reviews y'all hope you enjoy it my friends and stick around for the members video at the end just a shout out you know the members name that do join i just shout their names out in a little video at the end so if you would please just stick around and watch that and you can check their channels out and that's it y'all enjoy what's left of your summer until i see you in the next review because i got some more stuff to review today in the same shirt yes if you watched the video before this the day before i was wearing the same shirt because it's all filmed in one day, my friends. I did change shirts. It's just, I'm filming all one day. I know Chris is bad, but I'm out of here, y'all. Keep safe. Keep doing. Swear I won't forget this. Why do I regret this? In my mind, reckless. Thoughts are feeling endless. Sitting up, I'm breathless. Anxiety's infectious. I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed. I hate being open. I hate being broken. I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion. Anger ain't a potion. Rub it on like lotion. I can feel it soaking. Reopen the scars have awoken. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go